Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC and welcome to my YouTube channel. The purpose of my videos is to introduce you to tips that will help you elevate your job search by interviewing experts in the field. And if you are a first time viewer, please subscribe to the channel so that you get the notification every day I post a new video. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series with me. My name is Meher, I'm from Vancouver, BC, and today I have the privilege to interview Todd Collins. Hi Todd, how are you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing real good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for taking the time to interview you. you. So Todd is the Chief Operating Officer of Platinum Reputation, a company that works to help businesses and individuals with their online brand. Todd works with over 400 clients building out digital marketing strategies, managing online reputation, and assisting businesses in their conquering and conquering their local market. So Todd, tell me about uh, your career. And I know that you hit bottom rock and then that's how you started elevating and becoming the person that you are. Yeah, um, you know, so basically, you know, all the whole time growing up, um, I struggled with, uh, you know, I'm going to be 41 this month. Um, but back then I was diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. I don't, I don't know if it, back then it was just ADHD, but I was diagnosed with that. And, um, uh, in fifth grade and, uh, basically, you know, I was a hell of an athlete. I did great in sports. School just did not work for me. It did not work well for me. Um, the classes that I did like, uh, the teachers that I did like, I comprehended it very well and performed very well in the classes. But um, I, my, uh, I had a bit of an authoritative issue. Um, I definitely did not like authority. Um, I wanted to do things my own way. I probably got that from my Italian mother, who's very stubborn, just like myself. Mm -hmm. And um, so school was a struggle. And um, when college kind of came around, um, the opportunity to go to college, uh, I decided to uh, put off that for the first couple of years and mm. moved to the beach and <laughs> surfed and started getting tattoos and kind of go went kind of down a path that you mm -hmm. know I would say most of us in our you know uh, late teens, early twenties kind of go down. And um, when I came back, I needed to find a job, uh, and uh, so I did actually did want to I did go to school, but I also went into the car business at the exact same time. And in between there, uh, myself and my business partner um, that we've been together for a very long time started a company called RemoveMyName.com, which was a personal defamation removal site. Uh, and that site was if you were uh, in trouble and that information populated online, you would contact us and we would have the information taken down and removed from the search engines. That business has gotten much more difficult um, as of today from when we started that company. That company is now, we sold that company and then we launched uh, the reputation management company for businesses. Um, we did that about six years ago. Um, in between there, um, and this would answer your question, just kind of giving a quick background. Uh, I was going through a divorce. I, uh, uh, my former business partner before my new business partner now, uh, we were uh, battling over money. Um, so uh, we ended, I ended up having claim bankruptcy. Um, uh, and this was all going through at the exact same time. And then um, we came up with the idea for the agency and we launched that the exact same time. So basically I was broke, divorced, father of three kids at that point in time. And uh, I had no money left and I had to figure out a way to kind of pull myself out of it. So um, I just hunkered down, grinded it out and uh, just kept beating that path that like I knew I wanted to get to the next level. I knew that I had a great idea. I knew that I could make it uh, come to fruition and I did. Um, and it's only grown from there. And so we went from like zero dollars to, you know, multi-million dollar digital agency uh, in a span of uh, about four years and we're now six years old. So. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. And yeah. I believe that these days um, kids or young people have more option than just going to school. And maybe school is not for everyone. And I'm seeing like yourself or other people are advocating about that, that maybe you have something else to offer. So what do you say about the parents that kind of make sure that, no, you have to go to school, no, you have to have a degree. What do you say to parents that kind of still consistent that? That's a great question. I think it's very, if you, if you went to college to be like an engineer or a, an attorney or a doctor, 
I think it's very easy for you to say you have to go to college to be successful, if that makes sense. Um, I believe that that, and, and I think we've proven that, many people have proven that over a, a long period of time that going to college, you don't, you don't need college to be successful. I believe that, that you do need to go to school. I believe in the school system from a standpoint of ABCs, mathematics, reading, writing, all of these things. I believe in that. I believe that post high school mm -hmm. um, is when you need to start working on yourself as a person and trying to figure out who you are. It, for me, it's impossible to go to a 22 year old or 19 year old and say, what do you want to be when you grow up? They don't even know who they are themselves yet. Uh, I didn't even know who I was until I was you know, 30. So, I mean, I, 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 I truly believe that we have the, so many different opportunities. Mm -hmm. Kids nowadays, an 18-year-old nowadays has the opportunity to do things completely different than when you and I were 18, right? Sure. We, I totally we really had, if we didn't go to college when we were 18, we probably weren't getting a job. Yeah, I um, totally agree. And, especially, and I feel that that preconcept comes from our parents. But, you know, by the age of 30 or 40, you'll be married, you'll be successful, you'll be in one job. That's what they knew. And but things have changed and we have to evolve. Yeah. And I think we're doing that as I think as parents, uh, you know, being a dad of, of four kids, I think I've uh, I make sure that I say to my kids, like, you know, if, if you don't want to go to college, you don't have to go to college, but you're, you're going to be on your own at 18. So you're going to have to figure out something. So I would get a job at 16 when you're allowed to work here and get a job and start figuring things out. But, you know, at the age of 18, my parents stopped paying. Uh, my parent, neither one of my parents went to college either. Mm -hmm. So uh, they were, you know, they were working people. Um, and to be quite honest with you, uh, I don't, I think maybe if they would have went to college, maybe it would have changed things for them. It's a possibility just because of when they grow. My dad's, my father's 78, my mom's 72. So it could have given them other opportunities, but I don't believe that my kids will, will um, win or lose by the time that they're ready to jump into the workforce, um, whether they have a college degree or not. I just don't think it's going to be a factor anymore. Yeah, I agree with that. And again, thank you for sharing that. And for the audience watching and listening, if it's your first time, so my interviews, I'll ask Todd a, a series of questions and I'll post them daily. So you'll be like a journey with us and you can share all these videos. And if you have any other tips, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Todd.